YouTube, it is your favorite gamer here, Above Average Cody, coming at you with the age-old question. What makes pros so good at the game, more specifically Halo Infinite? I just got done this weekend watching a ton of HTS Kansas City and really analyzing a lot of the gameplay, and I chose to bring together the five best things that I think make the pros so good at this game. And of course, this is outside of their hours and hours of practice and playing every day, scrimming every day. This is bare bones what they do in game that really set them aside from every other player on Halo Infinite. And this analysis doesn't just help us understand pro play and watching it. It also shows us what we can work on as players in just casual Halo Infinite to help us be not only better at the game, but possibly much better than our opponents. Alrighty guys, now the first thing I want to bring up is decision making. The pros have top notch decision making ability, whether it's in a gunfight or just how they maneuver the map with their team. One play I saw them do a lot on this map, specifically live fire, is the way they gain intel. And now it's a way that I've never seen anybody in public matches do. One specific thing they did was yeah. they'd repulse up to sandbags, they'd get any info up here, and if it seemed like a hot area they would just drop back and wait for the team to come help the biggest thing is getting intel and the decisions and the way they do that is just very impressive more importantly it's gunfights the when they take a gunfight you could tell right away when they're gonna back out of a fight. Like if they put two bolts in this guy and see the whole team, they're out of there, guys. They are not risking a death. The decision making around maneuvering the map and how they go about gunfights is just top notch. And if you can learn that in your gameplay, it will not only help yourself be a better player, but it'll help your team win a lot more games, guys, because you are getting the intel. And not only that, you're not dying. Most people in pubs just die in every single gunfight. But you'll see the pros, they'll take a couple jabs and then they'll skip out because they know the bait and switch is coming. They know the double chal is coming. They know this other team is just as good as their team. So they're going to make the decisions to put their team in a better situation to take care of the other team. Now, the next thing all pros do is the timing of their gunfights and really their overall reaction locked in with their aim. Now, this is two tips in one, guys. This is top-notch aim and then top-notch reaction time, which this goes for basically every FPS shooter ever, but watch any 1v1 or just about any gunfight a pro takes and wins. They get first bullet just about every time, and my personal gunfights in Halo Infinite, guys, this is the reason I lose a lot of the time, is the first bullet, but watch when they slide around corners, their reaction, and how quick they're landing bullets. It doesn't even matter if they don't hit the full burst, guys. They just want that first bullet, because the sooner you get the enemy's health ever so so slightly lower than yours you have the upper hand in the gunfight first bullet is so important it's important in call of duty it's important in apex it's important in every single fps shooter and you don't really think of halo as like a twitch shooter a quick reaction shooter but it really is and you don't notice until you watch the pros play guys they react so quickly and they snap and get that first bullet as quickly as possible and I've actually upped my sensitivity in anticipation for Season 2 because, again, I've gotten very good at the game, guys, but I've been trying to really take that step ahead, and watching the pros has helped me realize how important reaction time and first bullet mechanics are in this game. Now, for tip number four of what makes pros so amazing at the game is their movement. And, of course, I'm talking long slides, guys. I'm talking strafes. I'm, I'm talking all that. But I'm also talking about the things you don't see people do except for in very high lobbies. Like this insane jump they found uh, between land one and land two from this breaker box. Like if you jump on it and crouch, you can actually get on this box. You can climb up to here, guys. And then you can jump over and grab onto that pillar. I personally haven't mastered it yet. I just started practicing it, so there's a lot of work. Um, but there's a lot of like trick spots on the map where you can get and just climb up to and kind of sit. And that just goes along with more of the movement. Obviously, everybody knows the pros long slide. Everybody knows the, the strafing like a demon the pros do. But a lot of people don't take the time to learn these spots. And you'll see the pros use them so often. And you know if the pros are using them, guys, they're really good spots that you should be mixing in your gameplay. Like, you'll see on Oddball sometimes, if they're hurt, they'll jump up on this generator box to kind of try to get away. A lot of people don't use the basic jumps like this one to get up to sandbag here and just 
watch the pros and the movement and the areas of the map they focus and that'll instantly make you a better player at the game and like i said it's it's just so much more than sliding around the map at a fast speed guys it's about being effective with using everything the map gives you on really every map just not just live fire finally guys this is one thing the pros obviously do that makes them the best and you saw this best this past weekend with the sentinels and that is teamwork now this does not specifically come on to you as the player because finding a team that really works well together and understands what they need to do at what point is probably the hardest thing to do in all first person shooters but the teamwork you see is just unreal i realize we all want to take the 1v1 fights we all want to win those 2v1s we all want the most kills on the leaderboard it is never like that with the pros nine times out of ten guys there is never a 1v1 fight it is always a 2v1 because they're not looking for that flashy 1v1 win. Now granted, sometimes they have to get that 1v1 win to secure a point or rotate around the map, but they always are in a positioning where people are holding multiple angles. I've gone over this in the how to be a good teammate video, but they always have a teammate somewhere with a vantage point. Say right here, if you're standing on this box, you can see active camo, you can see center mid map, and you can see over here on B plat. Now, if a team teammate in any of these three lanes, guys, takes a gunfight, it is not a 1v1. If they're taking gunfight down on active, I'm just going to shift over and I'm going to help them. And now it just became a 2v1 fight. You will notice that more often than not with the pros. Either they're in the fight first and there's bullets coming from a different side of the map. Or they're kind of just cycling over to help a teammate. And the teammate that's taking the 1v1 or the 2v1 will kind of just duck in and hide. And then their teammates will come over and then bang. It's a 3v2 now or it's a 2v2 which is just a much more fair fight. And I guess that kind of wraps in with decision making as well because you have to know when the bait and switch is coming, when the 2v1 is there. So that can fall onto you as the individual and try to recognize those plays. Now playing in pubs, your teammates may not always come to help you. But just having that decision making, guys, I promise you, if anybody's looking for somebody to team with, they're going to be looking for your decision making and how you rotate around the map and how you play around teammates because you are instantly a better player. And if you can master the things that don't really require any true game skill and game sense, it doesn't matter how good you are on a controller, guys. Anybody can just learn when to back out of a fight and instantly be better at the game. But teamwork is the main focus of this tip, guys, and just the way they make it so so that a teammate is never ever alone is really just what sets the pro teams aside and makes them the best and i did mention the sentinels because the sentinels took down optic they took down cloud nine and it really just shows how good top-notch teamwork can take down a top tier team guys anybody can do it any team can instantly become better um, I'd rather have a team with average gunplay and top tier decision making and teamwork rather than a, a whole four stack team that shoots lights out but always takes 1v1s on the map because guess what the average team can just 2v1 them constantly around the map because they know what they're trying to do and they're trying to take that 1v1 so you just hold hands you go around you just pick them off one by one and the game just instantly becomes easier guys and that's really why teamwork is so important and it just it's that one little thing that just sets every single single pro team aside the better the teamwork the higher you are on the pyramid and that's why teams like sentinels optic cloud nine are above other teams rather than like say navi fanatic teams like that now i'm not saying those teams have bad teamwork i'm just saying they could improve and take steps ahead and that's what's going to get them into the upper tier uh the s tier if you will of the hcs but all right guys that was a lot of talking hopefully you took something away from this video and even if you don't put anything into your gameplay this also just helps you understand the hcs and kind of watch it better uh not just know what's going on but also what to look for guys you don't just have to watch the pros and go oh pfft. I can never do that. Watch them and take things away from their gameplay and try to put it into your gameplay because I promise you guys, it's not always just running and gunning. There are simple little things the pros do that will instantly make you better at the game. But all right, guys, that is enough talking for this video. I hope you guys took something away from this. Please let me know down in the comments if it did help. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. We do a ton of Halo Infinite videos with Season 2 out, guys. We'll be live streaming it nonstop this week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, be sure to leave a like on the video and again guys
guys leave a comment let me know if what you took away from this video and feel free to join the channel membership if you feel so inclined thank you so so much for watching guys i appreciate all of you get out there and fry on season two stay happy stay healthy and stay tuned for the next video